Hi family, so I'm here with a couple fellas. We're about to get an initiative going. Instead of me talking about it, I'm gonna let these brothers talk about it real quick. So here you go. What's going on? I'm Devel Kempe. This is Lamont Mourinho. Well, no. And what we're doing today is we have an initiative for the community. It's called Token in a Bag. And what we do is we go throughout the city, uh, east side, west side, and we, for the most part, we spend our own money and we feed the homeless and we feed individuals out on the street. We make sure that you know we give them a meal that they can take with them if they want to eat it now, they want to take it with them, some, a beverage and a little snack to go along with that. We know how times are hard, you know, and we're just trying to be out here and play our, play our part, you know, male, female, adult, child, adolescent, it doesn't matter. We just out here in the streets just trying to, you know, do something positive and give back. So that's what we're doing, token in the bag. Cool. Cool. Thanks, brothers. Oh, you <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this initiative going. So I'm out here with the brothers. We got the food right here, as you can see. We're about to walk over and just talk to some lives, see how they're going, see, seeing what their day is like, and just try to assist them with some food and some some type of words, some type of mentorship. So see how that goes. I'll get back with you. I'm not gonna film them because I'm just not going to. So I'll get back with you guys later. All right, family, what's going on? So I had to part ways with the brothers. I did help them for a little bit. Um, they're going off to another location right now to take care of some more homeless um, individuals that require some food today. I actually um, have to head over to Chris's because I promised to do something for her and I promised to um, take her somewhere she needs to be. So it was nice coming down. We are on Martin Luther King Boulevard and we were able to meet up with a couple of the um, families at this point. Uh, I saw one family, I saw a couple of individuals peddling and uh, asking for money and some food and we were able to do that. I believe we handed out, uh, I believe it was anywhere between 12 to 14 bags of food over here and water. So the mission is very clear. Help those that require the help when you're in a better position, sometimes it's just a good thing to take some time out and help those that are, are not in a better position, whether it's homeless or whether it's someone that just needs advice. It doesn't matter. You got to take the time out to help others. I feel kind of bad that I can't assist any further because I really want to help, but time permits and I just... Here's some funny stuff, right? So... What? <laughs> Remember earlier I told you Chris wanted me to um, meet up with her so I could take her somewhere. She had a deadline to be somewhere. So all of a sudden, all week, she was telling me the area that it was in, but she wouldn't tell me where it was in. That was her first mistake. And I was like, where are we going? She's like, oh, you know, Frederick, over by where Sugar Bakers is. I was like, okay, so I know the area. That's all she kept telling me. Then I come to pick her up. I was like, okay, where's the address where we're going? And then she's like, Sugar Bakers. I'm like, really? <laughs> Sugar Bakers? And <laughs> then she gives me this lame excuse saying, oh, it's for my friends. Um, what'd you say? No, I said it's for my coworkers. Your coworkers. Oh, it's for my coworkers' baby shower on Thursday. So you're gonna get a cake on Saturday? that'll go stale by Thursday. It's not gonna go stale. It's gonna not taste good by it'll Thursday. It'll sit in the refrigerator. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Because we're not gonna so, have time to pick it up during the week because they close at six. By the time we get up to I could have picked it up for you. By the time they, no? I could have picked it up. You know what I mean? I pick up cake from here. I picked up your cakes from here. I would have made time if you wanted, but see, you didn't want me to know what was in there. And that's what, that's what it was about. So. We pull up the sugar bakers and I'm talking to her the whole ride. But in the back of my head, I'm like, this makes no damn sense. Why would somebody want a cake Saturday for Thursday? Like, that makes no sense. So as soon as we pull up, I look at her, I was like, wait. I could see you wanting to pick up a cake for maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, but Thursday is too long. This cake is for me. I was like, this is my birthday cake because my birthday is coming up next week. I was like, this is my birthday cake. And she was like, no. 
it's not. <laughs> and we're walking and I was like, well, I'm just gonna ask the lady to show me the cake. And you were like, no, why you have to look in the cake? And I was like, well, if it's not my cake, then it shouldn't be a problem, huh? I found you out. It's my cake. <laughs> so <laughs> we walk in there and then I'm sitting there looking at the brownies and Christine is like, yeah, I have an order to pick up. The baker walks out and was like, here's your cake. It says happy birthday on it. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? <laughs> and then she's like, oh. <laughs> Surprise. And she was like, oh. But she <laughs> and Chris was like, well, he already figured it out anyway outside. <laughs> I was like, I already knew about it. She couldn't fool me. And then the lady was like, oh, I'm sorry. You should have put it on the paper. And I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that. You should have said it up front. <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate it. She bought me a birthday cake. And I love birthday cake. I love birthday cake. <laughs> I just don't know what kind of birthday cake it is. Good. I don't. I, I really don't know what kind it is. I have no idea. Because um, I didn't actually look at the cake, so I don't even know what it looks like. I just heard her. Okay. Um, but I thought it was just a bit funny that I figured it out. Well, you got uh, your laugh for today. Huh? You got your laugh for today. You want to say anything to the people? No. Come on, say something to the people. No. Say something to the people. Shame. What are you ashamed of? <laughs> no, just nothing. <laughs> Why is it up close in my face? Say something to the people. Nothing. Nothing? No. No, you want to say nothing about your gaff? No. <laughs> My gaff? I'll be much better at it next time. What have you learned? What were your mistakes? <laughs> I learned all my mistakes already. Her mistakes was one. See, the thing is, next if you want to surprise I'll someone, myself. when you want to Without surprise knowing. someone, you have to hide in plain sight. All she had to do all week was say, Set, she had to set me up, right? And all she had to do was say, look, I have uh, a baby shower to do at my job. I got to pick up cake from Sugar Bakers. I got to do it Saturday. It's on Monday. That's completely believable. I would have believed that. I would have been like, okay. And then she would have and kept the story going. No, no, no. The reason why I didn't say that is because your nosy ass is still going to want to know. I would have believed you, though. No, you'd be like, oh, let me see the cake. How they design it. I know you. You're going to want to see it. That's true, but you could. I would have actually and been. And then if you take me to work, you're going to be like, oh, so where's the cake? Well, then you should have pushed me to go home Sunday. Whatever. See, so you're not thinking this thing through. Whatever. That's how I always surprise you because Whatever. I think it like before your birthday or anything comes up, I think about it a month in advance and I plan that sucker out and then you're always surprised. Mm -hmm. Oh well, womp womp. Womp womp. You'll be surprised other ways. Womp womp. You'll be surprised other ways. Well, my birthday's coming. Happy of, birthday to me. Oh, many, you don't like close ups. Woo. One of many surprises to come. So. Huh? This is the First one you just blew. That's it. I didn't blow it. I just figured it out. Cause I'm one of the greatest detectives alive. All right. Bye. You solved the case. Happy now? Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Red Robin, yum. Is that what? Is that what it is? Is it Red Robin yum? I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> but we are going to Red Robin because we's hungry. I'm supposed to be meeting with somebody right now to um, discuss some business, but they are not hitting me back. So we're gonna get something to eat. If they hit us back, that's where we gonna be. Red Robin, right there. Bam. Christine. I'm a Red Robin. Oh, I, thought you you a I thought you were taking a picture. No, I wasn't taking a picture, I was vlogging. What do you think it says? I think I'm drinking alcohol, huh? Nah, it's just lemonade. It's uh, the Red Robin. It's the um, very, very raspberry lime. It's not bad. It's a little bit on the sweet side for me. But it's not bad. I'm getting a chicken sandwich. What's that? Oh, the Chinese New Year is February 8th? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was looking, I was wondering about the Chinese New Year because, um, I was watching the Wizards play and they were talking about the Chinese New Year celebration. <laughs> this still hasn't come yet? No, I haven't gotten any notification. Uh, still wait. Oh, so is that package my birthday present? No, it isn't. 
Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Am I two for two on this one? Nope. Are you sure? Nope. I am. It's probably mine. Who gets a package Monday before my birthday? A little suspect. I already told you when your birthday package is coming. Your birthday gift or whatever. You already told me what? I already told you when it's coming. When what's coming? It's coming after your birthday. The gift I have for you. You believe her, I don't believe her. Should we believe you? I don't care if you believe me or not. Oh wow. Hotel. Bird. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna go eat now. We done eating. We are finished eating. And that was pretty good. Except for one of my drinks had soda in it. And the other one, I don't know, sugar. But no liquor. None. Right? No. No liquor. No liquor. It's been good. And I had a what? Chicken? Chicken sandwich. Bam! I've been good. <laughs> oh, Chris is going to drive. Are you going to the driver's seat? You going to the driver's seat? You want to drive? See how she doing me? See how she doing me? After thinking about it, I'm deciding to just go ahead and go through with creating a life flight video. So you guys are gonna see that Saturday and I'll probably end up putting this one up on Monday. So I want you guys to live life because life demands results. So what do your results say about you? I'll let you have a good day. It's darkness in here. <laughs>